Hello beautiful dog people and welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Rambo and as you maybe know if you've been around, Rambo's my senior Staffordshire Bull Terrier cross and this month is Senior Dog Awareness Month or Adopt a Senior Dog Month. Well, it's anyways all about senior dogs this month. So as it's all about senior dogs this month or every other month in our house, he is not that old yet, so he's probably nine-ish. We don't know, he's a rescue dog, so long walks are no longer really a thing. He still does his morning walk, you see, he loves to go out, um, and I take him out plenty of times a day, and he sometimes runs around, he plays beautifully with Chalky, but if they play too much, for example, on the beach, then we usually have to have a few days rest, and then it might be that I have to put him in his push chair in order to take him to the park, because, you know, older dogs, arthritis, and he might have to take it slow and then rest a few days in order to be um, fine again and to feel fit. So I thought today I'm going to share some fun things I do with my dog in order to spend quality time with a senior dog. And maybe there are some ideas for you what you could do with your dog. Um, please keep in mind though every dog and every person, obviously you too, are different and have individual interests and preferences so these are some ideas if you have others please share them down below in the comments because i would really love to know and i'm always on the outlook for new ideas but yeah so if you have any other ideas let me know and if you maybe are thinking of getting a senior dog or maybe want to be prepared for the time when your doggy gets a bit older i got your back so here are our favorite things to do So Rambo and I totally, utterly, and absolutely adore cuddles. And this could be something like this, that I let him sit in his favorite, both of our favorite chairs. And sometimes we sit in this chair together, but I also want him to be comfy. So he has beds here, but also the chair. I sit next to him sometimes, I cuddle him, or if he's maybe not feeling too well, I would work from from my bed if this is possible obviously if this is possible i mean being a dog trainer and having things to do and also writing a lot there's not always the time i can be in bed obviously who can right but yeah so um sometimes i would just if he needs a rest and if he can't calm down or whatever i would see that i would be able to Maybe work a sneaky hour in bed, or maybe we, on the weekends we take a nap and just to have some really good, like, quality time, have a nap and spend some time together. Also, now he just <laughs> fell asleep while I stroke him. So, Carl is definitely high, high, high on our priority list of spending quality time together. And this could also be like watching TV and just making sure I sit next to him and give him a belly rub or just put my hand on on top of him like this because this is what he really loves so this could be something maybe but i'm sure you will probably anyways get loads of cuddles especially if you have a bully breed because i mean they are really good at cuddling aren't they like second to none then i already mentioned it i have comfy beds for him i got him actually a really good one chalky is in it right now but it's a bed that is made for dogs to keep their joints safe, to keep their joints comfy, where they can lay down and it's thick enough so it does not any what lay through easily. It gives them a lot of stability. It can also help them get up, but it also makes sure that they have a really good rest if they choose to lie on it. And so yeah, I invested in a really good dark bed and I have not looked back. So I really thought this is a really, really good investment. And to be fair, it has paid off so getting your senior dog if you can a really nice comfy bed i think is a really good investment and you know it does not have to be always like super expensive or anything but really getting them the rest they need um, i've spoken in another video about calmness and why calmness is really important but yeah to really make sure they get enough time to just snooze rest and take it slow which takes me nicely to my next point, which is taking things slow and have some slow days. It doesn't necessarily mean you 100% put the brakes onto your life. I mean, <laughs> you're a crazy dog mom like I am. You might want to do because 
I would cancel plans in order to hang out with my dog, I'm not gonna lie. But maybe, you know, you would just have a day, I love weekends where we just go out, maybe lay in and then have a coffee, take a coffee on the go, go to the park, but really take the time, maybe sit on a bench, he loves to sit on benches and watch the world go by, so he would sit next to me, or maybe lie on the floor next to me, always touching, or maybe we would sit in the grass and just take it really slow, and then we would go home, have breakfast, and go home, have breakfast, and then maybe have another nap, or I read something, and make sure I hang out with him. So yeah, this is absolutely one of my favorite things to do. And I think it's such a privilege to be on your dog's side when they grow older, because the days are limited that dogs unfortunately have. And it's so sad and I wish they could stay with us forever, but they can't. So yeah, really to keeping this in mind and do not get annoyed if they maybe slow down and <sighs> getting emotional here. <laughs> Let me sit back. Yeah, to not be annoyed with your dog because you're all they have and to just really appreciate and be grateful to be able to be next to them and with them and enjoying all the time. And you know, maybe you're just totally going to love it because it's such a beautiful thing to spend quality time with your dog. Sitting in the grass, <laughs> I mentioned this just now, is one of Rambo my absolute favorite things to do like especially Rambo we have done this also when he just arrived because he was not socialized so he basically never really got out so everything was overwhelming everything and I mean everything and dogs was tricky because one dog like he got used to dogs slowly and one dog was fine and he would have a friend and they would play and then if other dogs come and he would just get over and it was just too much for him. So we spent sitting in the grass. <laughs> um, I remember like in London, I mean, you can't avoid dogs, can you? So there's like dogs everywhere. So we would sit in the grass hours when I got him, really hours. Like I probably spent most of my time in the city and I'm here since years in the park. <laughs> and I know every freaking corner of the park and... Yeah, so we, we used to do this right from the beginning and right now we totally love it and so much so that if we want to go for a walk, he likes to go to different parks and different places and we, especially if it's warmer and really nice weather, we can't go far because he would love to run and go further but then we wouldn't make it home probably because I can't carry him and he is, um, yeah, too, having too much fun and then he can't. Uh, walk back home so it's actually quite serious so to really keep this in mind too if you have a senior they might not know when when it's time to take care so you are in charge but yeah so we would then just sit in the grass let the work go by watch the youngsters play <laughs> and um, it's also great if Chucky's around because he plays forever and he can run around with all the dogs and then Rambo just hangs out with me and he gets all the cuddles from all the dog people around so it's a win-win for all of us everyone can get a piece of Rambo cuddles and Rambo love and Chucky can have some playtime with his doggy friends. So another thing and this kind of like combines, I mentioned it on my slow days, but even when you go on a normal walk or every day, um, take it a bit slower, let them sniff a bit more, take a break, have time. And I think we often have time, it's just about do we want to take the time and I feel, because we all have 24 seven, right, like 24 hours in a day, and seven days in a week. So for me, what really helped me find more time was to readjust my priorities. And this boy obviously has massive priority in my life, but also to really see where can I maybe save some time? Can I get more work done if I hang out less on Facebook or Instagram or whatever? Um, and yeah, so this really helped me to really restructure my days to maybe go out more often, but then take the time to maybe sit in the grass for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be forever, obviously. If you go out, um, take some water with you because it might be exhausting for the little one. Then you can also spend quality time by boiling your dog with their favorite food. You might not want to do this all the time because you don't want Anna with a dog who only eats chicken. I mean, at a certain age, why not? You know what I mean? But um, yeah, so at least, you know, like have it as a special thing. But figure out what they like and 
give it to them. You still want to manage their weight though because this is really really important especially if they're prone to arthritis you don't want them to be overweight yeah, but you could you know get them their favorite food maybe once in a while maybe get them chicken or whatever they like um, I love the liver paste, Rambo loves the liver paste, so we have this more often than we might have. We just have it a bit more often now. Also, I got him a raised feeder, because if a bigger dog eats and has to get to the bowl on the floor, they have to put a lot of pressure on their front legs, don't they? So a raised feeder can help even this out, so they don't have to bend down all the way to get to the bowl, but rather the bowl kind of comes towards them. So this was definitely a big, big game changer. We also changed the food, so we have food he really loves, but it's also food that really helps. Well, at least I think it does. It has the green lip muscle in it, and I give him also the supporting supplements. So yeah, he's on painkillers only if it's needed, but otherwise he's not on any painkillers. So yeah, food is really important for us, and I make sure he but he keeps his weight, but that he has a good time too. Mm -hmm. We play a lot, so he would sometimes still have like these moments where he would take a ball and run through the house and wants to be chased or things like this, or sometimes does a zoomie, but they obviously decrease in the amount and mm -hmm. they slow down. So we still, we still play, but we would then play lying down or we would play with a toy while he has a bit of a tug of war and yeah, so our play has changed quite a bit over the years and this is, I think, something to really keep in mind to check uh, what does your dog like, what does your dog enjoy, and then maybe find ways around it. If your dog likes to lay down, maybe you can give them a licky mud or something to keep them entertained, to keep their mind entertained, to keep their brain entertained. Again, depending on how, how strong their legs, their joints are, how much pain they might have. You want to get this checked out, maybe you can get some med. Um, so yeah, this is definitely something I think to be aware of and give them the the veterinary care they need and deserve. But also keeping them entertained, they are dealing with different challenges. I will also do a senior dog training, a webinar. So if there's something you are interested in, please feel free to sign up. It's on our web page because senior dogs have different challenges. You know, they're I'm a concept trainer, so concepts around their mental state, but also levels of frustration to be more tolerant to frustration when things no longer work as they did, when they can no longer jump as high as they could, when they no longer can run as fast as they can. So we work on different concepts, on optimism, etc. I will introduce more of this <laughs> in this webinar, so if there's something you're interested in, please feel free to check this out. It's on our webpage. And the webpage is bullydogtraining.com. Mm -hmm. It's not just for bully breeds, it's inclusive for all. So in a nutshell, how we spend quality time is what we're doing things he loves doing. And sometimes if it's just me sitting next to him while he is doing a brain game, or I point out things to him where they are, maybe he hasn't found them yet, or maybe one of the sliders, one of our favorite games is the Nina Autism slider game. I've done plenty of videos on this, so I will link them down below or blend in some here but yeah sometimes if he gets a bit frustrated because he can't he can smell it but he can't get to the tree because maybe the slider got stuck and it's quite an advanced level so i would just sit there and help him out a bit and this also can strengthen your bond if you are just there with your dog while your dog does things while your dog has a snuffer safari so things like not just like throw food around and say hey have it which is obviously a fun way to do or it's, it's an okay way to do as well to scatter feed them but I think especially with a senior dog it's about also being there with them I think well especially my boy he loves it like he just loves company but then on the other hand it's also giving them the space they need so if they want to be on their own let them chill on their own uh, but I would always make sure he's okay if you've been around on my channel you know that he's a rescue dog and he's very, very emotionally sensitive. So he would, it would stress him so, so much if emotional stress would come up, if I'm stressed, if I would be crying or whatever. So I think one really important thing is also for me to really take really good care of my mental health, to have also a way for me to recharge, to also, you know, it's sometimes if they get older, it's, um, 
sorry. It's <laughs> sorry, it's sometimes really difficult to talk about these things, isn't it? But if they get older, it's also frustration on our side, isn't it? And not necessarily frustration about the dog, but or like anger or well, I don't know really what feeling it is but I guess mainly also sadness that you maybe can feel that the time might be limited mm-hmm. which doesn't really occur to you if you have a really young dog um, sorry yeah so finding ways for yourself to cope with it so you don't um, <laughs> you can tell he's fully asleep because otherwise you would be already checking in but yeah to really make sure you um you can cope too and balance this out and have your own feelings under control so you don't stress your dog out and i think this is a massive thing of spending quality time together to have the time you have together make it worth it and make it enjoyable and now go cuddle your dogs (laughs) leave facebook leave youtube and Call your dogs at least, you know, call your dogs while you keep watching. I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye.